Welcome everybody to another episode of the Casual Report. I'm Pete. And I'm Riggin. And today we're playing a map for Furnace and the mission is loot. We need to spend an action point to loot the objective. And all right, Pete, we got the box today. We did, <laughs> and we got them painted. We're ready to go. It is the spookiest, the edgiest. The oh yes. The edgiest. <laughs> By box the name, there man, there's so many darkness in the, our ability. We don't even know if yeah, we right? should keep the lights on. <laughs> I, uh, man, I wanna I wanna get my hood. I wanna get I'm gonna get my solo cup. I'm gonna stand in the corner. I'm gonna play creep. You know, oh, that's, I, was, I was gonna play, play Evanescence, but yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, so what do you play today? All right, well, I chose the Night Lord side of the box. I'm all about those elite teams. Ah. Uh, I'd say they're spooky, but uh, th yeah, they're all spooky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my team, uh, basically, I wanted to take every single new specialist because I thought that would be fun. Okay. Um, new team, you know, I don't want to take another, pla uh, basically, I just had to ditch the plasma of the heavy gunner. So <laughs> I wanted a little bit gun shy this mound. Maybe. And I'm, you know, I have inborn save anyway, so plasma is not the best. But everyone is basically just an absolute monster in melee. Um, so kind of my plan is hit them up with the rare equipment that makes you even worse in melee uh -huh. and just make it so you attacking me is just a bad idea. Ah, uh, okay. Because if you try to attack my Skinner, it's going to take you like three hits to kill me. If you try to attack my leader, it's going to take you three hits to kill me. And okay. And have like battery rolls. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, and as far as my head tack ups go, I got Robin Bradsack, Headhunter, and all my guards. I was really trying to take one of their uh, own tactical okay, boys, yeah. but like, Man, some of them are hard, if not literally impossible against your team. Like the ah, seven run. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, Pete, what about you? I am playing the better side of the matchup. I'm playing the Mandrakes, and my plan going in, very simple. Break literally every rules and activate outside of my own activation and ignore terrain. Yep. And I think I can do that quite well. So <laughs> I am able to, if I play this correctly, I'll move you, uh, and I will have a better lethal range than you because I ignore stuff, mm -hmm. and I'm going to react to your move because I can also, you know, move outside of my own activation. You've got footsies with your dashes, yep. and you can just ignore terrain. And for my attack offs, um, obviously it's Beta Decima, so if they can take Recon, um, they're going to take it. So I will get Recovery Item, and I will get Secure Vantage Point, and their own Faction Attack Off, which is actually really good, Death from Darkness, I gotta kill you while within shadow, and um, it's all heavy terrain here, yeah. you know? Um, so Not I'm hard. probably gonna get that off. All right, so let's go ahead and send it to turn one. Ooh, get spooky. Okay, rolling for attacker and defender. Ciao. Two, five. Looks like we're taking attacker. That makes sense. <laughs> Let's go to the scouting flip. Oh, I got it. Infiltrate. Ka -chow. Wow, what a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Do you want me to go first All or do right. you want me to go first? You know what? Honestly, though, I think I do want you to go first. Sounds good. All right, I'll go first. So at the end of the scouting phase, I'm going to pop my out of the darkness. Oh, okay. And I'm going to yeet my heavy gunner. Before everything starts, I got to explain the within the shadow ability. Pretty much, if I am one inch within a heavy terrain, I am technically within the shadow. Mm -hmm. If I'm under a vantage point, so like this little like shadowy thing. I am in the shadow. If I'm next to a shadow portal, guess what? I'm in the shadow. Nice. Yeah, so there's a lot of shadow here. I don't know if you're aware. <laughs> uh, and that means I'm able to dash as I want reactively. Yeah. All right, uh, so my team ability is in midnight clad. So basically I just need to be within one inch of heavy or light terrain. Okay. Have a conceal order. Uh huh. And you need to be more than six inches away so from So you me. have like a really long worded domino feel. <laughs> yeah, and then I am obscured, which is kind of nice. So yep. basically it's a good way of saying, hey, you can't shoot me from vantage points. So currently there's kind of like a weird understanding of this because if you're in cover and your opponent has a vantage point, you're treated as has having an engage order. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and so does that destroy this ability? <laughs> and my belief is no. It shouldn't, it shouldn't. Because yeah. Yeah, because like if I'm- Because then what is the point? Yeah, that would yeah. mean if I'm standing in front of the barricade, <laughs> I'm safe. But if I'm standing behind the barricade, I'm in danger. So we're going to play that on the rule understanding that um, just because I'm in cover, yeah. the ability still prolongs. I'll do you a favor, I won't shoot you outside of six, okay? Great, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and go into our strategy ploy. I am going first, so we're going to go ahead and use Creeping Horror. Pretty much if I am in the shadow and have the Conceal Order, I can free dash after you activate. And fun facts, I'm all in conceal and they are all within shadows. Easy. <laughs> cool. All right, uh, I'm going to now roll my prescience tokens on my leader. This okay. gives my leader a bunch of cool special abilities. Sounds good. And boom, all right, so we got two points. All right, so I'm gonna spend one CP for Blade in the Dark so I can charge you if I start or end my charge in the shadow. 
So let's go ahead and let's go into my tech ops. And I think I'm going to reveal recover item. Ooh. What a surprise. And this is actually under, but just so for the folks at home can see where the recover item is at. It is in the middle, infinitely close to rig inside of the territory. I've got nothing to reveal, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna reveal death from darkness. Ooh. So pretty much uh, I have to kill you. Uh, okay, is, that, is that different from darkness death? You know, it's a lot of dark <laughs> and it's a lot of death. Pretty much if I kill you and I'm in shadow, I'll score one. So let's go ahead and go to my turn. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna activate my warrior that's in conceal. We're gonna move and we are gonna loot the point. So uh, we are going to activate our screecher. They are going to basically just move dash and get to the cover over here. Okay. And then we're going to loot this objective. So you have triggered my trap card. Darn it. How <laughs> yeah. could I have avoided this? <laughs> yeah, so uh, Creeping Aura is gonna trigger it after you're in your activation. And now I get a free dash on a unit that has the conceal order and is within shadow. And we're gonna just move. Yep. And also hasn't gone, hasn't done Yeah, it hasn't yet. activated. And then now my warrior, after his free dash, is going to move to the point and loot with the conceal order. Nice. We're gonna activate our ventriloquar, uh, and he is going to move dash, land on this objective here, and pop it for our team. My mandrake dire claw is going to uh, get a triggered free dash. I'm gonna activate my shadow weaver, and we're gonna open the shadow portal. We're gonna mm. drop one where he's at, and we're gonna drop one where this is at. And that's gonna cost me two of my APL, and that's it. Very cool. So we are going to activate our Skin Thief, and he's just going to move Dash and get into cover over here. Again, triggered uh, Shozer of the Flesh is gonna use his free Dash, and we're gonna pivot a little bit. Cool. I'm gonna activate my leader. Leader is gonna move up, and we're gonna loot. We're going to activate our Fearmonger. They are going to move Dash and yeet themselves onto this objective and they are going to drop their spooky scary token on it. So my spooky token, when I place it on an objective, you are going to take D3 wounds when you move onto the objective, and then it is going to deal D3 damage to you at the initiative phase Ooh, the next turn. Okay. And every turn after. Sounds good. I'm gonna go ahead and not activate any free dash. I'm gonna activate my abyssal. We're gonna use our shadow passage. We're gonna get under this gantry, and we are going to um, give yourself uh, the Screecher over here, a Bellfire token, which means when I shoot you, it's gonna increase my damage by one. We are going to activate our- Pulling the plug. Heavy Gunner. Okay. Uh, he is going to swap to an engage order, uh, and we are going to shoot down at your warrior right there. All right, I'll retain one from cover. I'm in shadow, so I have invuln four. You sure do, hitting on threes. Ooh. All right, let's think about this. Not bad, so we, got we got a crit and two hits. Crit and two hits. Yeah. We're gonna burn a lot of CP too here. casual. Yeah, there it is. Okay, There's are you gonna hit. stay in there? Ah, so I'm gonna make double. I can feel it. I can feel it. These dice are whispering I to me. I think so. Like, we are Honestly, good. I think I want to just delete you. From okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna run it down. Last Whoa. shot, and it's good. And I think that is a guarantee. That's a guarantee kill yeah. because it's four or five. And then I'm gonna activate my free dash. My warrior is going to dash to this side. Going into my activation, I'm gonna activate my warrior, and warrior is just gonna move dash into the shadow. Ooh -wee. So we're gonna activate our leader. He is going to move onto this objective here and just kind of chill. And then we are going to spend one action point for premonition and generate a CP at the cost of a pre prescience token. And that is going to trigger my warrior free dash. And, and that's then, gonna be my turn, yeah. still. <laughs> Back to your turn. How do you like moving twice as much as me? <laughs> I, I know, it's like kinda, <laughs> and I'm more activation dude. It yeah. feels so weird. But uh, we're gonna activate our guy that looks exactly like a warrior, but he's actually not a warrior. I'm gonna activate my Dirge Maw. I'm gonna use Infiltrate ability to flip him to engage. We're gonna use our six inch move and draw a line of sight to your Screecher. Now I have an indirect gun, so it is a valid target. And you nice. also have a Veilpire token, which means that my damage is increased by one. So I hit on twos and it's two, two damage with stun and it has mortal two. <laughs> and now my damage is three, three. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna roll some dice now, if that's yeah. okay. You're gonna roll some ones, right? <laughs> uh, I hope not, <laughs> uh, but maybe. And, oh! Uh, that's pretty dang good. Okay, so four mortal wound is gonna go through right away. You are stunned. Yikes. And uh, it's gonna be two, three crit, and then two hits coming through, which means 10 damage. You're taking 10 damage regardless, so you need to save. And I, I, I also get no cover. 
<laughs> I thought I forgot something. Are you, are, you, uh, are you like the kid at school that just like makes up all the rules? <laughs> dude, I hope I'm playing this right or else somebody's gonna be like, yo, dude, that's not how it works at all. And we're gonna be like, uh, okay guys, new, new game, first time. All right, this video isn't canon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I get all my defense dice still, so let's see what happens. So you have the Balefire ability, which basically reverses my saves. So, <laughs> yeah. so low is good. Low is good. Yeah. Uh, I save on a three minus yep. and a one is a critical success. Yep. <laughs> um, so I've actually done two normal saves and a crit save, uh, which is great. And I survive with two wounds remaining. Two wounds, yes. All right, so my activation, I've got no valid Overwatch. So it's over to you. All right, so I'm gonna activate my Shows of the Flesh and Shows of the Flesh is gonna go ahead and move to the pillar area. Very cool. I still don't have any Overwatch. All right, and now for my last activation, looks like you got nowhere to hide. Oof. And that's what I'm gonna use. Nowhere to hide. <laughs> that's gonna allow me to go through terrains like it doesn't exist, okay? Yeah, you turn on no clip yeah. and <laughs> you're ready to go. Because uh, that's what I can do, apparently. <laughs> yeah. And uh, since I used Blade in the Dark earlier, now I'm able to make a charge because uh, I am in the shadow while in conceal. Yes. So I'm charging from the seal, running through walls, and hopefully I just get one attack so I can kill you off. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're gonna charge your screamer. And this is just a regular warrior. So, uh, this is my Screecher, so you are basically injured, minus one to your attack rolls. And no re-rolls because of my flayed skin. Ooh, okay, so I need a four. So yeah, you better hope and, you get something. Uh, uh, even though that one wasn't in. One went through. You got your one attack. And that's gonna kill you all. Dang, I would've wrecked Ooh. you if I had you full yeah, HP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting all the bad roll out of the way. Good. So after me teleporting, buffing my gun, giving it no cover, also has a built-in direct, and then did like 10 damage to your guys, you're still alive. So you know what I can do after that? I can just run through walls, Regan. Okay? okay. Look, you, you think teleporting is bad? I, these don't exist. I Some can just charge you. No clip one. And yeah. In <laughs> like terminal. What, what is like? A, there's like a rule that we used to follow when we play other teams. This team does not care. Out the window. We're too cool for rules, and we're going with the rules of cool. So. Right. All right. So we're going into scoring. Um, I will be scoring uh, my. Death from darkness because I charge you from in the shadow and then I kill you while within the shadow. That's nice. gonna give me one point and I'm gonna get another point for recovery item because even though folks at home thinks it looks like it's here, we already explained it. It's actually under, we just put it there so people can see that that's where the recovery item is at. Very good. And also I loot one, loot two, and loot three point. Cool. Uh, as for me, nothing crazy. I just scored two and I lost a row. All right, so let's go at two, turn two. Yes. Okay, classic two casual. Uh, big yeah, turn, big turn through. Initiative. And we got six. All right, so this kind of sucks for you because yeah. I am going to go first. Mm -hmm. All right. And we are going to go ahead and go into my strategic ploys. But before that, we're going to activate our fancy ability from our Dirge Maw. Yes. <laughs> Dirge Mom? Dirge Maw. Dirge, Dirge Mom. Uh, we're going to select your leader. So if you're a leader, activate, I can just interrupt you and say, no, I'm going first. Yes. Excuse me. I too will use one of my abilities. Uh, oh. My leader is going to roll for pre-science. Only one. One. So you're at two. I'm at count of two. And I guess I will use the inescapable nightmare. So mm -hmm. if I'm fighting you while I'm in the shadow, I get to re-roll. I'm going to use nightmare manifest and it's basically shoot or fight twice. I'm going to use the black hunt and it's basically if you have any damage on you, I get a re-roll. Uh, and I will pass, nothing okay. else. Uh, I'm down to one CP, so I will pass as well. All right, so going into our tactical ploys, uh, I am going to reveal secure vantage point. Um, I'm going to reveal eliminate guard and I'm going to choose this little warrior right here. Let's go ahead and go into my turn. I'm going to activate the abyssal. Uh, abyssal is going to activate and switch to engage order. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to give you a bail fire token. All right, so uh, the abyssal actually has five dice, hitting on threes, lethal five, and you have no cover and the damage got buffed by one because I gave you a token. That's uh, something. Yeah. Oh, oh all but, right. but you know. Bit of a uh, whiff. Bit of a whiff. I get one free reroll. So it's gonna be one hit, hit and one hit. All right, through. saving on a three minus. Okay, yeah, so you're right. Okay, uh, you save one. one two. Okay, save two. Uh, so I guess we save the crit. And for that last damage, we're gonna spend our prescience token, go down to one, and that is going to be uh, no damage coming in. Oh, okay, nice. So the abyssal whiffed, and honestly, if this was literally any <laughs> other team, I would be worried. I'm like, okay you'll get to do something. Because <laughs> you're dang Dirge Mom. <laughs> We're gonna call him Dirge Mom. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, 
now I want, I need to activate my leader, right? It's the optimal piece. If yep. I give you another turn, you're just going to kill it. So I have to force your hand. Yep. Um, and by that, I mean, you're just going to go again. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my leader has to survive another attack. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot because with the little tokens on you, it is plus one damage and no cover. Yeah. Which we didn't realize the Hadouken guy, uh, the Abyssal, mm -hmm. he has five attacks. I was like, his five attacks, lethal five? What? Is good. And it's four or five? What? Hey, man, it, it's, uh, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Uh, and I, they're I they're a shooting of... team now. I'm, I'm convinced. Changed my mind. <laughs> Shit. Well, seeing as my leader has a chance. <laughs> oh, you want to activate him? Uh, we have to activate our leader. And, and I'm going to interrupt you. And yeah, we're going to force Dirge Mom to, <laughs> to, to do the interruption. The Dirge, the Dirge Man himself. My Dirge Mom <laughs> is going to move a little bit closer. So I will leave it in six. Yes. And we're going to hit you on twos with five dice. Not leave a five this time and no cover. And mm -hmm. I still get the stun thing if I crit. Go dice. Okay, all hit so far. If I get a crit here, come on, go. Oh, I will CP reroll this. Okay, go. Okay, so right. uh, no no crit, but that's gonna be um, all hits coming through. Saving on minus threes. Uh, we got Ooh. one save. All right, uh, we chill. We chill with one HP. <laughs> oh man. Here's the game plan is our leader gets to activate, which is more than I hoped. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna pop one for the objective. Um, we are going to shoot your warrior that hasn't activated yet. Oh, you don't want to shoot my two best gunner? I think it's fine. Uh, you do have your bail fire on me, so it's minus one to my damages, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. It's plasma. I am in bone four, so yes. you're not going hot. Nope. And you're hitting on three because you're injured. Yes. On Kapow. threes because we're injured. Oh, There's, nice. all right. that's, that's all of it. So I need to make all this. Yes. On fours. Oh, we got, got it. it. Okay, uh, and with our last thing, we are going to pop our last prescience token and gain another command point. Let's go ahead and uh, activate our warrior since he is an eliminated guard target anyways. I need mm -hmm. to get him out of the way. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move him. So he's fully hidden and we're gonna be shooting your leader. I still get no cover. Yep. And I still hit on threes and I still get to reroll one of the dice because I am shooting from the shadow. God, I have a lot of abilities. <laughs> uh, uh, and... There we go. And if you roll this, I can't. Yep. And I can't save. You cannot yep. save. So that is one dead leader. We are going to activate our Icon Bear. He is going to whip around and kind of just land here with a normal movement. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to aim down and shoot at your Abyssal. Go, go, Gadget Gun. Hitting on threes. Uh, uh, so we're going to reroll one of these. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, that bite. So uh, I think we really want to send a little bit because more Because if you through. chip, the next shooting will get a free reroll anyway. So you're saving a CP. Yeah. Yep. 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 So we're going to send it down. Last CP. Go. We got it. Okay. <laughs> you scared me there a little bit. Three so, normal hits. Four ups. Uh, only Ooh. one goes through. Six yeah. damage coming Six in. Six damage. I'm at two health. Uh, shooting again. This time we Ooh. got the rerolls from the Black Hunt. All right. Uh, so we have a reroll from our strategic ploy because you're injured. And oh, we nice. get uh, three hits. So I need to make everything here. You need to make everything. Kapow, and, and you nope. do not. You got Ooh, me. Clean kill. I'm gonna activate my Shadow Weaver and we are gonna use our um, Shadow Passage ability to teleport him uh, next to our warrior. And then we're gonna use our Smoke Grenade um, for uh, one AP and that ability is called Weave Darkness. Yes. So I'm just gonna put uh, right where the warrior is at and that's gonna give Obscuring to all my three players. Yeah, you three guys are safe. I don't, I don't even know. I hope I'm playing this right, guys, because I, I just like, I teleport to one side of the board, I teleport back, and I'm just like, smoke grenade. You got then, a persistent smoke with it, visibility it range. go away. That is, yeah, because normally smokes go away at the end of the turn, I'm yeah. able to deal with that, but like, I just can't shoot, which is not like, normally not the hugest problem for this team. Yeah. We're going to activate our skin thief. Uh, he is simply going to move all the way over here. Uh, and pop the objective. Activate my warrior and we're gonna loot and that's gonna be my activation. <laughs> we're gonna take our heavy gunner. They are just going to move dash and pop themselves right over here. I'm gonna activate my Mandrake Chozer of the Flesh. He's gonna uh, move to the engage order and we're gonna shoot your Icon Bearer. Ooh. Um, hitting on threes. I am within shadow, so I get to reroll one. Mm -hmm. Kapow. Damn. Ooh, baby. And that's gonna be two crit, two hits coming Ooh. through. Making my saves. Uh, and we make one of them. Uh, 10 damage coming in, I'm down to two wounds remaining. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move out of line of sight. So we're gonna activate our Fearmonger. He is going to move dash, yeet himself over here. Capture and the point. we're going to capture that point. Sounds good. For my last activation, we are gonna switch to engage order and we're gonna go ahead and shoot with our leader. Only hitting on threes. Hitting on threes and- Oh no, there's the crits. Yep. 
And uh, I'm not within shadow, so I don't get a uh, reroll. Nice. Uh, here come my saves. And hey, we made one crit save, but we're dead. And I'm going to capture the point, and we'll call it a day. All right, scoring, I'll be scoring one, scoring two, and I'll be scoring recovery item, and that's gonna be a total of three points. Uh, I've scored one, two, three on the primary, and I've lost my leader, and I lost my icon bearer. Ooh. Oh, and yeah, I also lost two of my boys, my abyssal and my regular warrior. But cool, let's go ahead and go to the next turning point. Liking the content so far, I'm consider liking and subscribing. And if you guys wanna chill with us in Discord, we got the links down below. All right, rolling for initiative, and oh, ciao. I missed, uh -oh. and that's a one. Wait, uh. oh, I, I saw that and I was like, maybe. Yeah, right. But unfortunately, this is pretty bad for you. Unfortunate. Okay. All right. What well, we got? going into my turn, my dredge bong is going to pick your uh, fear monger yep. to interrupt. Yes. And I'm going to pass. I got no more attack ops to. Okay. I still have to choose a uh, eliminate guard. Eliminate guard. So we're going to choose your leader. So now we're going to activate our leader. And I am going to activate Vox Screen. Ooh. So by yelling into the microphone really loudly, <laughs> <laughs> you can no longer activate your operative. Oh no. And are forced to choose another operative. Since you denied my turn, yes. uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate my Shadow Weaver. And we are going to just be a dirty cheater and we're just gonna make it so he is now obscured yeah you're gonna obscure your leader very yep. good yep i'm gonna use my weaving of the darkness just you know <laughs> oh look at this you can't shoot him now i'm so balanced <laughs> very cool <laughs> and uh, he's just gonna climb up because uh why not while being in conceal well uh seeing as you've given me a shot against your dirge bomb uh my heavy gunner is going to aim down and shoot at her yep. um and yeah here we go hitting on threes Kapow! Ciao. Uh, pretty good. Not bad. Crit. It is AP1, but you don't care. I don't care, and I do not get cover, so you can go ahead and joint me if I don't make anything, and I only make one save. Yep, that's a kill. That's a kill. All right, and then we are going to, since we're hanging off, we're going to use our one inch of movement to yeet ourselves down, and then pop that objective. Sounds good. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to activate our warrior. Why not? I'm going to capture. Uh, we're going to activate our skin thief. He's going to pop the objective and uh, think about his life choices. All right, so uh, my shows are the flesh. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna teleport. Yeet. And we'll be in conceal, why not? Nice. We are going to activate our Fearmonger. They are going to switch to an engage order. Oh. Um, we are going to pop this objective. And unfortunately, I don't have any valid targets. So we are going to move dash climb and yeet ourselves right here. So at this point, I'm basically just kind of full sending it forward. I need yep. to get in close uh, if I have any hope of scoring points because I got to kill your leader. I got to get that. You are beating me in primaries. But I the am. problem is the secondaries are like so hard to do. Yeah. Your eliminate guard is like, I'm going to choose this guy. I'm like, obscure, teleport, run away. <laughs> what is a wall? Like, I don't care. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to activate my warrior. And I think warrior is just going to go ahead and charge your heavy gunner. Nice. And we're going to do it in a way while we're still in shadow. We're going to go ahead and attack you, and Ooh. that's double crit, but it's uh, a double one. So we're going to go ahead and spend one CP to reroll. And that's going to be triple uh, crit, and that is a, that's that's a dead boy. Yep. Yeah, here are my dice. Uh, we got three regular hits. Uh, we're going to crit you. Crit. And, and since I'm critting you in shadow, instead of 4-5, it's a 4-6 profile. So it's going to be six damage. Yes. And I will just smack you for three. And I'll crit and you again. I am off the board. And that means I am going to score death from darkness. You have given my Fearmonger Overwatch. Uh, unfortunately, you're not within close range, but you're within normal range. Okay. Uh, so shooting down at your warrior. Hitting on fours? Uh, hitting on fours. We only got a single hit. Ooh. We're gonna retain from cover. <laughs> so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna roll. Cool. Uh, <laughs> and then for our last activation, we're gonna loot and we're gonna move up. Scoring, I'll be scoring one, scoring two for primary. I'll score one for secure vantage point. And I'll also complete my death from darkness because I kill your heavy gunner. Very nice. Um, let's see, I did score three on the primary this time, uh, but I still haven't scored my secondary. So let's go ahead and send it to turn four. Rolling for initiative, you'll win one eventually. Oh yeah, you know. One, hey. there we go. 
All right, uh, so going into the fourth and final turning point, we're going to activate We Have Come For You. So after I perform a charge action, I can deal D3 mortal wounds to a target. I'm not using anything, I'm just saving. So going on to Tac Ops, we're gonna select our Eliminate Guard and we have to select uh, Shadow Weaver. All right, so uh, we are going to attempt to activate our You will longer. attempt because I can just whisper and say, no, you can't. <laughs> yeah. So let's see if your leader's uh, uh, stall ability ticks. Yeah, it's called Harrowing Whisper. Harrowing Whisper, very scary. What? Since I roll over your ABL, uh, you you can't you can't activate it, man. All right, so I am forced to activate another model. Well, I guess I'll activate my skin thief. <laughs> what, uh, is, what is this? Thief? He's gonna he's gonna capture the objective. <laughs> I, I guess I'm going now, and uh, I'm gonna charge and fight you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you, you die. That's it. You just. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, cool. Let's see some dice. I can still whiff. I can still, whiff. Can still whiff. I can still whiff. Let's see it. He has five dice hitting on twos. Oh man. Okay, uh, uh, I missed one, but I believe it is lethal five. It is lethal five. So two crits, two hits coming through. Yep. Uh, I'm probably smoked, but here's some dice back anyway. And it has a stun. Gives a stun special <laughs> roll. <Why? laughs> I'm not even shitting you. It's lethal five stun. That's that's crazy. All right. Well, I have two normal successful hits. I want to crit you. And so you're gonna crit me, stun. and you're gonna discard one of my dice from the crit, uh, and then I'm gonna smack you for three. What is this team? No, and you're gonna knock you. me out. I think that's a. That's a crit. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you win the initiative. Doesn't matter. <laughs> You have a profile? No, you, are you don't. Are you sure I want initiative? I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna send it to the recap table. <laughs> I, I won. <laughs> I hope we play this right. It feels like I'm playing these guys wrong. <laughs> uh, okay, well, we'll see you guys in the recap table. So that was game. I barely won, just a little bit. Uh, uh, what did you think about the Night Lords? Yeah. Honestly, even though I didn't take the game, I had an absolute blast with this team. Um, I think they're thematic. I think the models are awesome and their rules are pretty fun. Like, New main? Is this it? Is yeah, this it? Maybe. Um, yeah, like... Archon you know, like, is just getting Toy Story meme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the Archon too. They've got a place in my heart. Okay, okay. Um, honestly, I kind of just love playing elite teams in general, so mm -hmm. this one's right up my alley. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, you like Legionary. This is literally Legionary, but like with vampire but aesthetic. Purple. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this is definitely your team. Mm -hmm, for sure, yeah. They feel tanky. They're absolute monsters in melee. I like the spooky guy because he could just like poison you. I didn't really do that much this game. Yeah, you kind of did. You poisoned one place and you didn't realize I was going to be like, whoa, there's poison over there. Let's just leave, you know? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, I didn't have many, sh like, I could have taken another gunner to have myself some more shooting presence. I, you, yeah. I think that would have been helpful. You did showcase your leader ability a little bit, though, like yeah. with some shrugs and with some, like, stall. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's some power. Like, there's some power in your leader. So you definitely like at all costs want to keep him alive. He's definitely your superstar, one hundred percent. Yep. Yeah. But all right, Pete. What do you think of those mandrakes? Them spooky. Uh, swamp you know people? what? I think I should ask you. What do you think of those mandrakes? Because you play first, though. <laughs> I. It feel great. I'm just like. I hope I play these right. These guys are. They are the fastest team. Yeah. Right now, they're like corsairs. You know, special place in my heart. Man, they will get lapped by these guys. They are so fast. And I feel like these guys right now. Um, Elves are struggling a little bit because I feel like there's a lot of like resilient team that can just take their glass cannon shot and then still fire back. Mm -hmm. I don't think these guys will suffer the same fate because uh, they're definitely the best that the elves has to offer. They can play the footsie game, they <coughs> score very well, and they have like this lethal range that your opponent, like I don't have to space you by one inch, two inch. I can space you by like, <laughs> by, like, by, like six inch. You get like a baked in four inch dash reactive to my movement. And this is not even like the most cracked like iteration of it because I can if I if I because like I chose for the more like a uh, safe route because I went for like the troop and seal. Uh -huh. I could go for like the extra one to dash, which means when I get recon I get four. And then when I react I get another four. Yeah. And then I can run through walls and mm -hmm. then I have another what uh eight inch charge, right? Mm -hmm. So it's Four, four, eight, six, sixteen inch. You got a sixteen inch threat range from turn one. Yeah, and, 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 it, and it goes through walls. And it goes through walls. <laughs> and guess what, guys? That's literally all of the like, closest objective that he will have in any mission. Yeah. I can reach you, which kind of is crazy. Mm -hmm. And I have an, an, an indirect gun that uh, even like I can still do my charge, and the indirect gun can still like move up and get that shot off. 
and we can see like like we did today with the abyssal setup where it's not just a 2-2 mortal wound 2 anymore it's mm -hmm. a 3-3 mortal wound 2 indirect no cover yeah you guess mm -hmm. yeah a couple strong guns it's yeah. pretty it's pretty strong um and you know no involved saves but uh, i think i think this team is like they're definitely gonna get nerfed um i think um because I this is not even the worst map. Because into the dark, I don't even know how to even fight them in into the dark. Yeah. They're global everything everywhere. It's plenty of crimes, you know? Yeah. That's 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 the counter, all right? Uh, Maybe, oh, you're yeah. gonna shoot me, I'll come back, I'll shoot you back. Unless your leader <laughs> says nah, you don't get activated. Oh, uh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well no, then my leader will come in, force a command to shoot. Huh? Oh okay. think about that. You think I'm fast? I move 13, you move infinite, you know, maybe. potato, tomato. Maybe there's some potential there, yeah. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I know they have some really hard matchups too. Like uh, basically oh, yes. all the melee teams, like um, Galarpox or Felgor Ravagers, especially mm -hmm. them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, the they zombie struggle teams. into that matchup. But uh, we let's just, just, to be clear, we are mentioning the top of the shard <laughs> team. It's like, these guys might give them some troubles. And that's probably because there's a reason why these guys are really good. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I think... All, the aside from like their ability, um, their <laughs> items are pretty good as well. Mm -hmm. Like you know, true conceal. This is like a like if you're new, just take three yeah, in beta decimal. Super conceal is always yeah. awesome. It's super conceal, mm -hmm. and then if you're more comfortable with it, then maybe I would shift to the, the the extra dash. So uh, one thing that uh, we found out is the haunting projection is one EP on the card, but the book is two. Games Workshop, you made a typo. Uh, well, <laughs> Mandrake player, just say we're going with the one. I'm just kidding. No, nice. no, it's uh, it, it's definitely two. But honestly, I don't think that matters because the uh, the other items you're taking them anyways, and if you lose out on one point, uh, yeah, you'll be fine. You. But yeah, that was the game. If you want to see more of our content, consider clicking over here.